Masons line things up. Freemasons like to line up important buildings and monuments. For example, the Washington Monument is lined up perfectly with the Capitol. The monument is an obelisk that represents the missing phallus of Osiris. In Egyptian mythology, Osiris's jealous brother cut Osiris into 14 pieces. Osiris's wife, Isis, found 13 pieces that she was able to put back together. The number 13 represents Osiris until he rises with all 14 of his parts from the underworld. The dome of the capital represents Isis's womb. Isis was able to impregnate herself with an obelisk to give birth to Horus. Generals gathered in their masses, just like witches at Black Masses. Under the dome is the Apotheosis of Washington. This means the making of a god. Other gods surround George Washington. Below Washington is Columbia. Some say that Washington became Osiris, who the Masons equate with order. The Masons' motto is, order out of chaos. Many people believe that perpendicular to this line is the White House, but it is not. The building 13 blocks north that lines up perfectly with the north side of the obelisk is the Mother Council of the World of the Inspectors General's Knights Commander of the House of Temple of Solomon. In short, it is the Freemasons' House of the Temple. This is the San Jacinto Battleground Monument. It is basically the Washington Monument with a giant star on top. In front of the monument is a 1,777 foot by 219 foot reflecting pool. The dimensions may be a reference to the Paoli Massacre which occurred on the 21st day of the ninth month in 1777. This massive 570-foot tall monument is said to memorialize the 18-minute battle of San Jacinto between Texas and Mexico. Construction began in 1936 and it was dedicated in 1939. It was Houston banker Jesse H. Jones as the head of the Federal Reconstruction Finance Corporation that was not only able to get the funding for this giant boondoggle in the middle of a depression, but he oversaw the design and dedication of the monument. The monument is certainly pointing somewhere extremely important. If a line is drawn from the monument through the reflecting pool and through the sundial all the way to California, it ends up at this runway at the Watsonville Airport that was built by the Navy in 1943. This runway is not the site that got the Masons so excited to erect a giant obelisk. Rather, it's another marker that points to the revered site. This runway is listed as being 4,501 feet long. 4,501 plus 1,054 equals 5,555. 4,501's inverse is extremely important in nuclear numerology since there were officially 1,054 nuclear tests in the United States. 911 of them were in Nevada. It is 893 miles from this runway to the Trinity Obelisk. 8 times 9 times 3 is the same as 6 times 6 times 6, which equals 216. The number of nuclear, atmospheric, underwater, and space tests. From the runway to the San Jacinto Battleground Monument is 1,600. 16 miles. Revelation 1616 16 says, He gathered them together into a place called Armageddon. Armageddon means the place in Syria for the gathering of the troops. There are already troops from two dozen countries in Syria. ISIS has a magazine called The Beat. Some Sunnis believe Muslims will have an end times battle with the Romans in Tabiq, Syria. Since there is no longer a Roman army, the House of Representatives passed the Caesar Syria Civilian Protection Act of 2019 that will pave the way for an expanded war in Syria. Going back through the desert, the line goes right over this obelisk in the middle of nowhere. This is the Trinity test site, where the world's first recorded atomic explosion took place at 5.30 in the morning 
on July 16, 1945. Locals said, it lit up the sky like the sun. Three weeks later, two atomic bombs would be dropped on Japan seven months after General MacArthur submitted Japan's surrender to the Roosevelt administration. History books are not sure how the test site got its name Trinity, but I doubt if it's named after the Trinity Christians are familiar with. More likely is the Trinity of Osiris, Iris, and Horus. The obelisk is inside of an oval that represents the womb of Isis that is surrounded by a 14-sided polygon that symbolizes the resurrection of Osiris with all of his parts. Related to this is a vision of George Washington that was published in 1859. He told of three great perils that would come upon the Republic. The first was the Revolutionary War. The second would be the Civil War. And the third, he said, when the voice had ceased, the dark shadowy angel placed his trumpet once more to his mouth and blew a long and fearful blast. Instantly a light, as of a thousand suns shone down from above me and pierced and broke into the fragments of the dark cloud which enveloped America. For an endless, enduring dream and a thousand points of light, this is my mission and I will complete it. During the development of the atomic bomb, Major Jordan was shipping all of the plans and materials to build an atomic bomb to Russia as part of the Soviet Lend-Lease program from the Army Air Base in Great Falls, Montana. This would enable our enemies to inflict a thousand suns on America in the future. This road points to the 90th missile wing that has 150 intercontinental ballistic missiles. This road is pointed at the Aberdeen Proving Ground that is also on the September 11th ley line. And this road makes a straight line to one of the most important sites in Freemasonry, the Los Niños Heroes Monument. For more information on this site, watch the September 11th ley line video. If you continue to go past the monument 18 miles on the atomic ley line, you end up in the middle of Trinity Bay. Notice how the grounds of the monument are pie-shaped. If we follow the angle of the northern boundary, it takes us to the Los Alamos National Laboratory, where the atomic bomb was developed. Establishment history books say the atomic bomb was created to help win World War II. But knowing that the test site was chosen at the latest in 1935 indicates that it's more likely that World War II was created to justify the development of the atomic bomb. This may help explain why the banks were so eager to fund Hitler. Nine days after General George C. Marshall betrayed the American soldiers at Pearl Harbor, he and Jesse H. Jones, the man responsible for the San Jacinto Battleground Monument, were the first men to be made a mason at sight at the House of the Temple. No one was made a mason at sight at the House of the Temple for another 34 years until John McCain II, the man responsible for the cover up on the attack of the USS Liberty by Israel, was bestowed the honor. The attack on the USS Liberty almost led to a nuclear attack on Egypt. Perhaps the reason for having enough nuclear weapons to kill most of the people in the world is to eventually kill most of the people in the world.